Okay, are, are we rolling now? Okay, yo, yo, yo! Welcome to the Lincoln Cast. You're listening to the Lincoln Cast, <laughs> episode 22, for the week Nailed of it. September 22nd, 2012. I'm your host, Neva Rama, and with me here today are self confessed Nick. Hello. And uh, you did well there. And Shinboy. Hello. Oh, um, just like to inform everyone. That after his massive amount of alcohol consumption last week, <laughs> Durin died. Durin, Durin died. Durin died. died. Yeah, Durin's um, not here to stop me because guess what? Who's the king of this podcast now? I am. See, when when we heard of Durin's tragic death at the hands of six screwdrivers and <laughs> a, I think I believe a full bottle of chocolate wine, it turned out to be that was at least that was in the police report. Um, New Brahma's immediate reaction was, yeah. "Hey, can I host the next podcast?" And yeah, I was like, you know. Uh, you know, one 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 despotic ruler dies, and now a benevolent dictator has risen to the throne. Um, yeah, our dear leader, dear leader, <laughs> dear Rido Nuvorama. Um, so, yeah, how doesn't how, how like, have pass up a week? single opportunity to bring up his false past? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, this is some sort of defamation, calling me not North Korean because fuck is you. it real to you? I'm, I'm, it, I'm, I'm real proud of my heritage, this- Cynic. I'm proud of my heritage. <laughs> And uh, you and your your you know your capitalist cronies can't can't deny my heritage. It's it's my civil liberty. Okay. And right. Joking aside, are you of North Korean descent? Yes. No, he's yes. not. <laughs> yes, like, I, I had to ask. I am. He's not. I am. I, he's, we've confirmed this in the past. <laughs> he's like. You know what? I, 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 I find North it really Korean, offensive you that get. you are prying into my past, and it's making me uncomfortable. So, have, how have you been this week, Cynic? <laughs> how have you been this week? Uh, I've I've been good. I've I've finally gotten a chance to read a series of books I haven't read for a long time. What series of books? Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey. The Lost Fleet. Uh, has anyone heard of it? I can bring. I think it's David Campbell is his pen name. He has he has a pen name, but he also freely admits to his actual name, which is kind of thing is kind of kind of productive and kind of dumb. Like it's also really really common. Yeah. Really? Who who only has a pen name and goes only by a pen name? That's what pen names were for. I don't know, man. A lot nowadays, like no one's like totally um, pen name only, aren't they? Uh, but, uh, then what's the point of having a pen? Well, it's I like a lot okay. of like actors and actresses have stage names, and they just yeah. freely admit that it's a stage name, and Dude. like everyone knows what the real name is. Yeah, like like Charlie. Well, I don't Sheen. think everyone knows because he he goes I am X, and my, my, sorry, and my pen name is X. Like that's how he introduces himself. My pen name is which X. is kind of. So it's Why? like Will I Am, but he's an author. <laughs> Wait, Will, what's Will I Am's real name? I don't know. Um, Does he actually do that? Is Will I Am any one of those dudes with the? Is not his yeah, name? You don't, William? Know, you don't know who Will I, I, am is. I would assume his name is William. Probably. I don't know. I don't like the black guys. That actually, that actually makes it his name. Is, I can't believe I didn't think of. Did that. You say you don't like black guys, Shin Boy? No, I don't like the black eyed peas. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> but no, would you be you know. surprised if Jim Boy said he didn't like black people? What? No. <laughs> you know, this, I'm, r- not, I'm not a this terrible podcast. racist <laughs> like Cynic, and I, I run a tight ship, and I refuse to let you, you know, say those racial slurs on this podcast. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. I was so close to saying the N-word. I was so close to saying the N-word. Wow. I, oh, man. Yeah, William I'm James bad. Adams Jr. Okay, you're a bad person. What, what, I've, what I've learned is Australians are far less like no, I think it's just remotely you. racially conscious. Just, I think it's just you. Uh, it might be just. It might you. just be me. It might be. It might just, just you're be me. just a terrible person. Okay. Uh, no, I'd, I'd, I'd be willing to bet it on it though that that <laughs> Aussies are just like less yeah, caring. Maybe. We just don't give a yeah. shit. No, I think that sometimes kind of America cares too much. Mm. I'll admit that. I, I I don't know. Like there's some there's some level of. Um, Caring is sharing. Oh wait, no, that doesn't make sense. That's not. Yeah. That's not related. Um, but you know, there's a there's an old fable called "Caring is learning about Shin Boy." <laughs> How oh, have you been, Shin Boy? Wait, I didn't get to. Okay, so what? the Lost Fleet. Yes. The Lost Fleet. Well, it's a book. It's a book, series, book, book. series of books. It is a I've book. Read. It have has you guys pages heard and words. Have you guys heard that series of, of the series? Of I have not heard of that series. What, what is it no. about, Sinek? Enlightened. Uh, think of Battlestar Galactica. But wait, was this the one you were um, saying was like a space opera? It's no, it's that's that's the genre, but it doesn't it doesn't fall into a lot of this the um what would you call it the the tropes of space operas? Yeah, yeah, yeah the the, tro- the tropes of space opera. Like it's it's very realistic. Um, he tra- he attempts you know, to depict for sci-fi. Yeah, for yeah, sci- as realistic did, as sci-fi. Uh, well, is it like the characters are realistic or the technology seem realistic? Uh, the characters are a little bit fluff. 
Mm. Okay, so the entire thing is he's he's a he's an ex um not marine he's an ex ship commander not a commander I think he was the, the helmsman but um so essentially he has a really good and he used to work for the intelligence agencies as well the U.S. intelligence agencies um I think it's marine intelligence but anyway so he has like a, a firm handle on relativistic speeds and that kind of stuff not not in, not in terms of travel at. Uh, relativistic speeds, I mean speeds of craft relative to one another and mm-hmm. formations and getting into formation and travel times. Um, so he is like a firm craft on that and he's, he has a bunch of physicist friends. So essentially he's able to, as close to believability as I've seen sci-fi getting, um, just in terms of outside of the fact that they have fast and life channel travel for between star systems within star systems they travel at about 0.1 light 0.2 light and he actually depicts the relativistic effects and what that does to targeting systems and that kind of stuff during the combat as described in the novels um but aside from that it's just like pretty good fiction it's mm-hmm. a it's a long withdrawal sequence and for for anyone interested out there and it's just well done the characters are a little bit too honorable <laughs> For for me, oh, see that would that would put me off. Yeah, like, yeah. Right are they like I'm fighting for justice? I can't let you do that. The main character is. Oh. And that, that's kind of that's kind of the put off. Um, yeah, you just lost me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, right? And but it's written by someone from the U.S. military, so I, I can see why he would have like because it's all about it's, it's a fish out of water thing. Because I won't go into it, but essentially he's he's from an era where the people around him have had degenerations their, their their morals have degenerated and so he's essentially lifting everyone's an australian our old standards um yeah. so everyone's in, in the context of the book so it's my cool. roommate's computer just turned itself back on that's weird <laughs> <laughs> the ghost roommate um i'm gonna see if, oh God. I'm, I'm gonna see if i can Let's turn that can... off i will be right yeah. back like in two seconds no two problem seconds. but yeah that, that right. was my week new barama thank you for that's, asking how was your uh, week my my week was good um i i went to japan um i ate some pocky it's pretty cool. Do you lie? Okay, <laughs> so so I went to Tokyo um, by boat from. Where'd from you North go in Korea. Tokyo? Name uh, four places you visited within Tokyo. Ak- Akihabara, Akihabara, uh-huh. and uh-huh. and I met the em- Emperor Hirohito. No, Hirohito is dead. Um, I I saw the ghost of Emperor Hirohito. Um, <laughs> we played ping pong. Wait, no, ping what pong. What hotels did you stay at? Nakahabara. We played. We played. What's a Japanese sport? Um, soccer. So- soccer is not a joke. Baseball. Baseball. Yeah, we played baseball. We watched some animes. We went shopping for some anime figurines. You know, I got to know like, the guy. Seriously, good. the Japanese love both soccer and yeah, baseball. They do. They do. Um, yeah. And you know, Hiro, you know, also sumo. Very cool guy. I think that's right. Right? Pardon? Sumo. Sumo. Oh yeah, sumo. Yeah, we sumo wrestled. Me and Emperor Hiro. Yeah, Hiro, there you go. Sumo wrestled. Um, and yeah. So that's so, so what you're that man is, is. I really didn't. You had a long week at school. Week. You passed out, and you and you what? woke up. Why? What? <laughs> Wait, so Dream, I come back and I hear about jump. people passing out, and yeah, yeah. Nubrano oh. passed out and dreamed he dreamt he went to Japan and, and met and Emperor Hirohito with Mr. and sumo wrestled with him. Did he met? Did you meet uh, Takafuji? Takafuji. <laughs> Takafuji. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. See, Durin can't stop this. This this train will go on regardless of how low we go, or it doesn't make uh. sense. So, Chin Boy, tell me about your week. Um, it was good, I guess. Borderlands is pretty good. Borderlands. I'm playing a lot oh, of that. Oh, how's Borderlands? It's Borderlands. It's border- That's is about it, it. Is it is it Borderlands too? Like with is it just Borderlands with two it's, stuck on it? It's pretty much Borderlands with a two on the back of it. Oh. Yeah. I mean, they made some improvements, like the the inventory stuff and like the whole interface. Works a lot better on PC because I'm playing on the PC, and it looks I, a lot better. So from the Borderlands. quick look, that inventory looked fucking hideous and terrible. Well, I mean, managing it with a mouse and keyboard works better. Okay, that's what I mean by that. Hmm. I, I, I'd still like, for example, on my um, graph of inventories, it is e- b- below even Mass Effect One in terms of just efficiency of that inventory. Well, to compared to Borderlands One, it's great because Borderlands One had a shit inventory too. Oh, so, oh man, yeah. They were, how did that work in Borderlands One again? Inventory. It didn't. It didn't. It just didn't do anything. It just it just sat there like a lump. I mean, it was a list. But, but like, it was just a the list. rest of the UI. And it was stuff like Mass was Effect One. It, it works better. No, Mass Effect One was people. better. Mass Effect One is a better inventory? game than Two, in my opinion. No, no, I'm talking about like the inventory. Fuck you. That, that's that's not what we are talking about, what? and you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. So, 
Well, I'm not the host this time, so I can't. Yeah, man. The new well, okay. train will the keep gameplay, on rolling. The gameplay in Mass Effect Two is better. The story in One just kicks the shit out of the story in Two. The story in One was <laughs> fucking I, spectacular. I, what? But like the story, I yeah. I, I like Mass Effect Two. The characters. Okay, really I, I'm I'm fine with spoiling the shit out of Mass Effect One because I'm fine with spoiling the shit years. out of Two because that game's yeah, been out for a while. It's been years. Um. The ending sequence with the you on the Mako and that whole like run up and through that portal or whatever, uh, with the AI, with the AI and stuff telling you the whole background of this the the system that was awesome. My that favorite part of Mass Effect so One awesome. was when you have the conversation with um with the Reaper with what's his face. Oh, Saren, not Saren. No, like, no, no, the uh, the Reaper dude. Uh, whatever. His uh, name is. But that conversation was Joe. legitimately frightening. Wait, I don't, really? I don't know. No, 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 like the the I Reaper, this part. one that you killed. Yeah, you have like you have like a conversation with like a hologram of him. Yeah, um, and it was fantastic. Hmm. I don't actually remember that part at all. <gasps> it was like one of the Weird. best parts of that game. Sovereign, Sovereign, Sovereign. Sovereign. Sovereign yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I just don't remember that part. Like, is this the part where you you meet like you get to the second um like artifact thing and you get the second? No, no, no. no. This is this is when you when you go to like the place with with like the Krogan and you have to decide whether to kill Ashley or what's what's his face. Yeah, that's the second Kaden? artifact. That's that's is was it, it the was it Caden? Yeah, Caden. It's Ashley and Caden. Yeah. Yeah, fuck Caden. But you didn't know they were dying at the yeah, time. Like, you didn't know they were going to die. You just know you're going to send one off on them. Well, no, I, I read I the Wikipedia article before I played, so I do <laughs> did know that they were going to die. That's sad, but yeah, no, I, that, that's the second vision. I like to like be prepared, man. I don't like being ca- caught and... by surprise. I don't like being caught by surprise. That's my excuse. Anyway, Borderlands is pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah. My main question, okay, so I have a couple questions about Borderlands. One is the music as good as Borderlands One? I think the music is fantastic. Um, if any of you guys have played Black Eye Retribution, where it's like not quite dubstep, I have like, not played Match Black Eye Retribution. Well, like I'm, I know like a few people that have been on the show before have. Like I know Zuma okay. Ramen has, and like it, it's kind of similar to that music where it's like sort of dancey but not quite dubstepy, but it's got a lot of bass in it. Uh, that's, much, that's I don't know, man. I, no, I you really take like that and mix it with folk. the space western style of the first game. Okay, they pretty much oh, okay. fuse them together, and it sounds as long as there's still space really western good. in there. That oh, that's space western. I'm, ho- I'm hoping it's like, it's like electronic good, space western. western. It's really weird, but it, it, most of it sounds good. That's cool. I'm finding um, myself really enjoying the music. So my, my second question was, um, well, how have you finished? How, how far have you gotten in it? Um, I don't really know, like percentage into the story wise. I'm level fifteen okay. currently. Level fifteen. Okay, so I guess that's the question: Is there a story? Um, yes. Uh, I would say that the side quests are a lot more interesting, but the main quest is fucking Borderlands. Uh, I I didn't uh, find Borderlands one story particularly engaging because it was it was like that woman who came up like on the screen and started talking to you. I had no idea what I was would going say. On. I would say it's better, lady. but it's it's not what you play that game right. for. It's it's all about the atmosphere. A lot of characters. a lot of the side quests are just one long giant reference. <laughs> <laughs> like I saw some of those achievements cool. and I'm like, oh fuck, did they really do this? Like, like the that, names. I'm not going to spoil what's in what's in the uh, the quest itself, but I'll just go off the name. Um, there is a quest called Splinter Group, where you must go <laughs> uh, oh, take down a splinter group of mutants that live in the sewers <laughs> and love pizza. Oh. oh, that is pretty cool. And you get a giant Top Gun reference quest from an NPC called Loggins. <sighs> yes. <laughs> I like it. I like it. More games should uh, no, not more games should do that. But I hope games start doing like people, that. Well people, people like are, I know a lot of people are saying like the humor is not that funny. Like the the one liners and stuff are not that funny. Those yeah. giant reference quests are funny as hell. They're just like they make that's you, cool. They make they're funny in a make you face palm like fuck you gearbox kind of way. <laughs> oh, uh, which I like. Like bad um, puns. I I okay. So even there's much shit I give people who to deliver bad puns or or make that their primary form of humor i i secretly appreciate it bad puns are great <laughs> you appreciate suki and, and revan secretly secretly appreciate them. and, and zumi ramen to some extent <laughs> to um, some i don't know extent. who's the worst i don't know who's the worst um of them but i i, I do know that yeah it's on some level I would either I, you could okay when presented with puns that bad you either never talk to that person again or you kind of laugh like or you, you do both laugh. yeah that's that's true that's true yeah. um 
What was that? What was yeah. Okay, PC so the options I'm, in Borderlands are great. Just if anyone's worried about that, there are like a million fucking options. That's so, cool. And an oh. FOV slider. Wait, so like, how many guns are there? Like, there are more a than gazillion 30? guns. Oh, gazillion. Oh, okay. Are is are they un, as unbalanced as they were in the first Borderlands? Um, not that I found. Not yet, anyway. Because the first Borderlands, for I think it was um, Hellfire Quad Shot or whatever they call it, Double Shot. Oh, the um, uh, the SMG. SMG. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just kind of broke the game. Like the they're fun to anarchy. use. Oh man, yeah, double anarchy, hellfire, and that, yeah. once you get one of those, the game's kind of over. Like you can. Well, I mean, like I said, I'm two-shot. kind of like sort of in the beginning. I would okay. still say, so like, yeah, the, I would still say the first that. act. Right. So, is it ridiculously I, 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 easy to dupe weapons in that game? Like it was in the first one. <laughs> um, from what I've seen, yes. Broken. Apparently, oh, <laughs> apparently, what you can do since they have a trading system in now. Uh, which I can see them fixing this pretty pretty easily with making it auto save after a trade. Um, you can trade someone all your money, and then just either if you're on a console, just like quit the game or like you know just kill your console. Or I'm pretty sure on PC, you could probably duplicate it by um, Alt F4 and just closing the game. So when you load back in, you still have all the money plus the other person has all the money you gave them. Right. Oh man. And then rinse That's and repeat. The- Oh, to, for me, that's how how I played. I, I can't believe I'm bringing up this reference. Need for Speed Most Wanted on like what? PS2, or whatever it was. Um, what you Yo, do? Go check out the get duping two... scene in Need for Speed. <laughs> yeah, you, you get two memory cards. What did you even do? Like you get two memory cards. Um, you copy your save over <laughs> to the so other one. Scary. You plug in both. Hey, you plug man, in two controllers, you your, uh, and then you car. start a race that allows you. Like when if you beat the other person in the race, you keep their car. Right. So you straight up just do that over and over sell the car like you get the you just rush to a decently expensive car do that over and over get the next expensive car do it over and over and then you have all the cars in the game that's it Man, it was I as can, quick as I that i could earn was... you one million need for speed bucks just just give me a memory <laughs> card it's weird oh, like, it's the stuff with the golden keys which you used to unlock a specific chest they fixed it already but there was an exploit where you could just straight up edit the i and i file to give yourself more keys <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Which I that... may or may not have done to give myself all the pre-order bonuses. I mean, I mean, do you Woo! think, in your opinion, like that kind of ruins Borderlands? Because no, because no. it yeah, only gives you like purple, Bo- it's not gold. Exactly. So Borderlands is like, even if you glitch it the fuck out of it, it's not inherently broken. Like, actually, I don't know. I, I made to. custom weapons in the first game. To oh, the right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Where? Oh like, yeah. I could one. I just I, I just like played around with it to see boss. how broken I could make. Those I made a gun weapons. that was so broken that it had a level requirement in the millions and the money value. The money, the, the numbers would just keep rotating and never stop. Wow. <laughs> no, I just mean the ones that um, you make it shoot so many things that do crazy stuff that the game just starts breaking. <laughs> I got it to the point with the, the siren tree that increases your fire rate plus an SMG mm-hmm. that had such a high fire rate that the, like, the audio file of you shooting <laughs> would, couldn't keep up with the actual fire rate of the weapon. Uh, that I, dude, I did that, but I got it to shoot rockets, and not the normal rockets, the ones that go in a spiral motion. I think it was oh, like spiral, and then like branch out into multiple directions. So the physics engine, like when I started shooting it, everything started like the, the frame rate dropped like crazy, and I, like everything just stopped knowing what the fuck to do. The game just had like no idea what to do with that weapon. So I, 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 I didn't crash though. When I stopped firing, it took a couple of seconds and things went back to normal. But yeah, whilst I was firing, the game was broken. I love that. I loved that about the first Warlands. <laughs> yeah, there's there's some like pretty bad texture popping issues that people are having. If anyone is playing on the PC, you can actually go into the in if you go into documents, my games, um, Borderlands Two. There's the Willow Engine. Oh, what if fig what file. if you get a 72 hour ban from a Borderlands? No, this isn't. This. this is oh. this is just a graphics fix. It's not okay. actually cheating. Yeah, there's pretty much. Um, the texture popping is actually a thing that's coded into the engine or at least into the config file. So you can just go in and I forgot the exact thing. You'll see some numbers. It's like 0.3. There'll be like two sets of in and out. Um, and you can change those all to zero and it'll pretty much eliminate all texture popping on the, the PC. Cause it's pretty much that's telling pretty cool. the game to wait X amount of time to load the textures. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So it's just a simple fix. And then you can, yeah, so- it's, it's uh, probably has to do with either coding it for the consoles or for lower end PCs. For when for what I've seen of it, I it doesn't seem to me like the game would require that much in terms no. of PC performance. It, if you it, want the physics stuff on, yeah. Oh okay. yeah, the physics well, stuff you, looks crazy. Yeah, like I just watched my roommate play it. It's fucking nuts. 
it pretty much adds a whole bunch of extra particle effects and um, a whole bunch of other extra cloth stuff. So like pretty much the siren, their skill is a phase lock, which pretty much means they lift someone up in the air. And say you have like a fire weapon when you shoot people, like sparks go flying everywhere, which is another physics thing. And right. say there's like liquid on the ground and those sparks flying around from using a fire weapon. If you phase lock someone, all that stuff will get like sucked up into it. In addition to like oh, all the cloth stuff or okay, like in the area cool. being lifted. It looks really, really nice, but you kind of need a good system to run that. I, at least, this is making me high. want the next set of consoles in Unreal Engine 4 so bad. So bad. Oh. UE4 is going to be cool. What the hell is that game that they're making? EU4? For? Europa Universalis 4? <laughs> no. No? Okay, well, I <laughs> no random that. freaking niche strategy games. Okay, it is not niche. It. it is more mainstream than fucking Call of Duty. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Prove me wrong. By what metric? By what By proof the metric do you have? Of, I play it more than Call of Duty. There you go. I am the market <laughs> that that Call of Duty sample and size of Europa one. That's all you need. For. Right. <laughs> Grandma. Right. Control group. Because I'm like one of those people who buy like five hundred thousand copies you, on the back game. of the box. More call, more popular than Call of Duty in certain demographics. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In North Korea. <laughs> the uh, most popular game in North Korea on Steam. That's great. Uh, That's fantastic. That's great. Uh, fuck. Uh, but let's but so yeah, somebody, wait, I'm playing MLB the show in three D just because uh, no. what what's MLB? Wait, so is that, is that Major League Basketball? Major League Baseball. Oh. In three D because um it apparently I, supports three D. So so I've like the ball comes games. flying at your face? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's crazy. Actually, no, not really. <laughs> that's cray, bro. Wait, what do you get to crowd is further back? <laughs> um, no, it actually, like, it actually works pretty well. Like, with if you, like, zooms out and show the whole field. Like, say you hit, like, a fly ball to center field or something. You can actually right. see a good amount of depth with it. It's actually pretty cool. Wait, wait, what, I mean, what is okay. this for the PC? Uh, PS3. Oh. PS3. PS3. I mean, I wouldn't play like that all the time because it's not worth it and my eyes would hate me. <laughs> but it, it's just cool every so often just to show off. Oh, I, yeah. Again, can't wait for the next consoles where 3D is less of a thing. And if it's more of a thing, then at least those things will be able to drive it better. Because goddamn. It actually, the frame, the frame rate's not too bad. It's It like normally handles it at 30 because, you know, it's a console game. Yeah. And it stays at 30 in 3D. So. Okay. That's okay. Well, it's I, I don't, probably, I don't think it's rendering it twice. Resolution. I don't think that's how it works. It's not. Well, it should be, but they usually halve the resolution in some fashion to get that working. And then upscale it or half the frame rate. Yeah, because yeah. fuck having like a double rendering on a console. <laughs> it also supports the simul view mm-hmm. thing, which is something weird that Sony simul does. View? With like, if you have one of their like, the PlayStation branded display, I don't know, the newer Sony 3D TVs might do it too. If you have like the 3D glasses on, one person sees one thing and another person sees the other thing. Oh, hmm. oh, that's pretty so cool. Like, yeah, that, that, like cool. the way the example they gave, I think it was when Killzone came out. If you're playing split yeah. screen, one person sees like them full screen, and the other person sees like themselves full screen. Oh god! Oh, so what, what do you guys think of the Wii U thing? Wii U fucking oh, sucks. Man. End of discussion. Moving on. <laughs> Bayonetta. Bayon- I want Bayonetta two, but I don't think I wait. Would buy but Wii have Wii you even for... played Bayonetta one yet? Um. Yeah, that's I have the only not. Game I if I want my Xbox. dumb action games, I can go elsewhere. I, I literally have an Xbox and I have one game in it, Bayonetta. That's it. Yeah, but to be fair, you got the Xbox for free. Do you actually yeah. like Bayonetta? Um. Yeah, I really love the combat. I wish it was on PC. But dude, that's... you should play. You should play more Xbox. Like, uh, well, it's too late now because yeah, the, the generation is about to end. But I'll just I'll just stuck up on all these Xbox games because you know this console <laughs> war is gonna go on forever. But there's so many good games on it that you have missed. Yeah. To be uh, uh, pe- uh, people uh, are there really on the Xbox? I mean, there's no Europe you never totally. sells for, so it doesn't have like the big mainstream. No, but like, game like what? Uh, then again, Soon-ish. he has it already. I'm saying like what? What games would be worth buying that system for? Right. Um, at this point, at this point, it's hard to say. Again, I, I was thinking of get, out, I was so thinking it's... of picking up Forza, and then I'm like, okay, Forza is a no, no. Just Forza just get Project really Cars. Good. Just get Project Cars on PC, or even better, just get Dirt for PC. No, yeah, get Project I, Cars. I, Project Cars I is know. fucking nuts. I I didn't so I I'm still not convinced I could run it at all. What Project Cars? Yeah, that game is pretty. That game uh, that also game, sounds really good. It's stupid. Are we talking about the same thing? Is the one with where I think you linked me a picture of it, and I'm like, that looks real. Yeah, 
Yep. Yeah. Game. I don't think I could. I still. I'm not convinced. I can. Have run. you seen it in motion? It's no, I haven't seen it in motion. It, it looks insane. so good, especially if you go to like the the cockpit view, like the driver view. That right. plus all the sounds is ridiculous. Oh. Like you don't even need a UI. Like it's so just it, the instruments in the car. Does it do the cool thing that I think was Need for Speed? One of the, the new Need for Speed that's trying to be a racing game um, did where. It, in the in, in cockpit view, you have the driver's head cam, which is which he just turned. Like it's a cockpit view, but he turns his head to face the apex of the corner, so it's it's actually shifts that view for you. It's not just a shitty static cockpit view. Oh, that, I would I don't know off the top of my head. I would have to watch mm. a cars. That, that's that's like know. the only like, implementation of a cockpit view. Ridiculous! That I've this can't be real. No, these are just pictures. Fuck you! <laughs> um. I told you. They look, they, I don't. I'm not convinced I can run it. I'm not convinced I can run it. Yeah. Um. This, but this yeah, game, yeah like, aside from the visuals, the sound design is also really This kind weird. of reminds me of like that Grand Theft Auto realism mod, which made the cars also look like really... Have you seen that? The GTA yeah. 4? Yep. That, mm-hmm. that actually looks wonderful. But the GTA 4 for PC is a really shitty like, yeah, that's port, true. So I never got into Rockstar games. Like GTA, I, like Rockstar I have games GTA either. 4, I have Red Dead Redemption. I, I got L.A. Noir for free, and I played like 10 minutes of it. When I loved was L.A. Noir, but that wasn't really a Rockstar it's game. A, it was, it's a pixel hunt. It's a pixel hunt. Yeah, exactly. Like if, if it's a, it's the best produced pixel hunt ever made. So yeah, it doesn't mean it's the best pixel hunt ever made. Just the highest no. production values. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, well, if it ended after, well, you didn't get deep enough into know it. But if you if it ended after the Jack the Ripper equivalent case, that would have been awesome. LA but it did. Oh, like uh, it kept going, and that was shit. I, like, I stopped I playing it. after that point. So for me, I have really good. fond memories of it. Yeah. Um, so moving on to our main discussion. No, 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 we, I, I, wait, no. Wii U, Wii U, Wii U. I, I, Why do we no, need to talk No, I, I ended the discussion already. Yeah, he uh, ended it. So th- is there like no price point you could be at that you'd consider? But what games $99. on it would you possibly... I think most Nintendo first party games are overrated as shit, so no. What about, what about but like Bayonetta 2? Bayonetta. No, because I never played the first Bayonetta, and if I want like, what? over-the-top action games, I can go elsewhere. That's why I have fucking Darksiders. But she has big Dark Darksiders is pretty good. Like it's different combat, but it, it, there, yeah, there's different first, yeah. like not first person, but um, character action games that deliver a similar rush that Bayonetta does. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I, so I, I'm also not going to drop yeah. that much money for one game. Wait, how much is the Wii U again? It's two ninety nine for the base yeah. model. Two dollars and ninety nine no cents. It's, what? It's three fifty. That's no it's one's three fifty the for the real one. one. Yeah. Which, which is the bigger hard drive, which is still fucking tiny and a free game, and like Nintendo East, Land, e-store credit and shit. Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo Land, the saddest Nintendo of lands. Nintendo Land. <laughs> Come on, uh, yeah. So no, absolutely that. nothing at this point that Nintendo does will convince me to buy that machine. I, really? For me, I'm kind of on the same because I skipped the Wii, and I'm not like my parents sad got the family a Wii for Christmas. I played like two games on it. This motion control shit is dumb, and then I stopped. <laughs> like I remember Wii being like the thing. It's like, oh, I'm playing this Wii game at a party. I think I'm gonna buy it for myself, and then it's just oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have, we have a Wii, but it's my sister's. It's downstairs, and I've never oh. touched it. I've never. Yeah, played my my sister took it up to school, and I'm like, take it, have fun. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, <laughs> sure thing. It's it's fun to play with play other it. people. I'll say that, but it's it's not something you would sit down and play alone because. But like, is it as fun to play with other people? Uh, well, I, okay, I'm gonna take. I, I, I've, the never fact owned, I've never well, see, owned. I've never owned Wii. I, I think I it's actually more fun to get all the guys up here, like just hang out one night, like order like pizza or something, and just play oh, FIFA. Yeah. The is whole that time. an invitation? And just well, play FIFA. Yeah, you want to play FIFA? I was gonna say D and D, but that says a lot about me because for me, some of my favorite experiences in from high school and first years of uni was just D and Ding with friends. Never played D and D. It's really good. I, you have a good. You have, I, you have I remember. A bunch of I remember bringing a bunch of computers to my you house. Can we played Europa. All my all European my Universal friends are too self conscious to play D and D. Man, I, I, yeah. I, again, I'd like if, to play D and D. People get improv. Like if you can, like legitimately have hilarious experiences in inverted commas Let's fantasy world. Let's just play Cards Against Humanity. Whatever. Oh yeah. Oh, that works. That's well, yeah, that works. Uh, that, the that problem kind with Cards Against Humanity is having played it a lot. Um, it's like if you play with the same people, it gets really fucking stale. Really, because yeah, then yeah, everyone really knows the cards. Yeah, it's like yeah. Oh, oh, hanger, hanger. Was it? Was is. It, Code hanger abortions. Oh, that's not shocking anymore. <laughs> you, you get to the point well, where it's like the most shocking and disgusting packs. things. Are that's like why that. I also didn't look at the expansion, the second expansion, when I got it. 
Yeah, exactly. I opened it up, saw the first card was a bigger, blacker dick. Put it back, <laughs> said, okay, I know what I got. Close the box. <laughs> exactly. Like That's why they're releasing expansion packs. And if they released them in Australia, I'd be far they have more a Canadian happy than one. I am now. They have a Canadian one. It's really cool. Are you going to PAX I, Australia, Cynic? Uh, oh, do they have that? Is that, is that I don't thing? think it's in Sydney. I think it was in Melbourne or something I don't know like that. What, is, is that like... What, what, how, that, how far is that? That doesn't... Paint me an image, Cynic. It's pretty far. If well, I, I, can't, I can't compare it to a distance over there, but by train, it would be eight hours or ten hours train. Damn. With a, with a fast train. And by plane, it would be about an hour to two hours. Like two hours, two and a half okay. hours. So it would be like that's, Montreal that's to really, Toronto. That's actually, I mean, that's kind of the same as from where I am to Boston, and I'm going to PAX East. Mm. I have well, my hotel booked already. I, I doubt PAX Australia would be in the same league as any of the American PAXs, to be honest. PAX I, come on. PAX I. PAX I. Uh, anyway. Right. So moving on to the news, um, big, big announcement, which I'm personally excited for, is uh, because I'm a Mac user, is that um, <laughs> Guild Wars 2 has uh, you liar. a Mac. Oh, in beta. I, and I did not say that in any facetious or like any sort of offensive sarcastic way because i am definitely a mac user i love the technology and i'm very excited for with the technology that apple yeah. doesn't make <laughs> oh god is this gonna what turn is into no i mean i mean no i'm serious like they use intel cpus yeah, samsung true. makes the displays like what, what but technology? at the end of the day i think i think they're still a hardware company they're out there to sell pcs well, yeah, well, the thing is, the only thing that separates them from a PC is the software. So technically, they're a software company. But I mean, like, I don't think they give a shit about their software. <laughs> if Apple Maps I mean, is I mean, any, like... if any uh, example, they don't give a oh, shit about their software. So we start. So this is going to be a short episode today, probably going to be like an hour, an hour yeah. and a half. You're at a half hour already. Noob. Good luck. Good yeah, luck. Um, which is why I want a noob to, because we're not, yeah. we don't have anything past noob. Like, we have yeah. news, sorry. Plus, we have Durin's these dead, two news topics, and that's yeah. it. Because Durin died. I, don't, I feel yeah, really sorry. No, he didn't die. Just to be, yeah. just to be absolutely <laughs> clear. <laughs> Durin's probably Durin. listening to this going, what the fuck? I'm still alive. <laughs> Durin is moving house. Yeah, That's pretty much it. Home. He's not actually dead. His family's okay. Um, well, he might be. We don't know. Yeah, he might well, be dead. I don't know. I, I haven't that. heard from him in a couple of days, so yeah. who knows? It's like, it's like um, what's his face? That cat, the one that explains. Schrodinger's cat? Schrodinger's cat. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Um, when you open the box, the cat could either be a dog or a rabbit. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Um, oh. What were we saying? Oh yeah, so Kill Wars is coming to Mac. Super Max. Oh yeah, so noob, do you, do you, okay, I'm going to quiz you on Mac. All right, um, <laughs> how do you install a program on Mac? Um, you drag the, this folder to like add-ons, don't you? So that's actually that's actually pretty close. That's actually pretty close. It's um, something like that. Oh, and I would like to say to all Mac users, congratulations on getting your own Guild Wars Two client. And also, I'm sorry you have to use a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they put Mac users in their own servers so we don't have to play with them. No, it's not that bad. I want the people who are using controllers on their own servers. <laughs> Just quarantine <laughs> them. And those Mac butt mouse, the weird fucking mouse, mice, where you can't write. Oh, yeah, that's another like, one. Um, yeah. Noob, how you do you use a regular ass mouse with a Mac, though? Yeah. How, how do you make a, a window fill up the left half of your screen on Mac? Don't you use, don't you like, use it like a touch screen and you just like drag with your fingers? Yep, no. nailed it. Is it, <laughs> what? Is it that? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's like it's like a mouse pad, more uh -huh. more than a mouse. The answer is it's they like, can't do it. You have to use a third person a third party add on to make that's that. That's really happen. fucking sad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, poor Mac users. No, I thought I don't uh, hate all Mac's Halo good. Uh, Mac is um, okay, and I'm Mac, Macs are, are right are good computers for. That, that's what I'm saying. Tasks. They're Gaming is not company. one of them. They sell Gaming's they sell reasonably. Good hardware that's overpriced, but at the same time, they're significantly software, overpriced. Oh yeah, they, I agree. They don't like, license the their iPhone software. is a really, really solid piece of Samsung hardware. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did this last week. We did this yeah, last week. And, and, Only no there's, one there's no Durin to defend the iPhone, so it's just gonna be a one-way thrashing of <laughs> Apple products. <laughs> Dude, okay, what, did you guys ever buy an iPod? Um, I had one I like, have, way had, back in the I day. Had an iPod yeah, that was cool, right? No, that was cool. I think. Yeah, I, guess. I, I think I broke my iPod within the first couple months, so I never bought it again. <laughs> Too fucking expensive. Um, so I went to one. How did you? Sand, oh, wait, how did you break? Actually, I'm actually curious. How did huh? you break it? Oh, I went swimming with it. 
That's a good way to break it. <laughs> what? What do you mean you went well, swimming with it? I, I didn't go swimming with it. It just, I, I didn't, I, I don't know. It, he it, chucked it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I you, took a long, Nibirama. hard stare at it. Do you said, get bleed? Do I really want this? And I threw it. I just you threw fuck it. you, Apple! <laughs> yeah. so in, my, water. in my mind's eye, when he when when he said I was went swimming with it, I pictured him getting picked up by a bunch of bullies and then thrown <laughs> into the water, into the sea. Into I, the I, toilet. Into the, the toilet. Sea. I just get shoved in the toilet. <laughs> so I have like an old iPod Touch. So I'm gonna do one of two things with it. I'm either gonna install Android on it just cause. Can you? Or yeah. Holy yeah, crap! You just need to. Um, just unlock it and all kinds of crazy nonsense. That's kind of um, cool. I could figure it out. I can Google it. Or <laughs> I'm going to take a sledgehammer to it. One of the two. Oh, I think I think you I haven't should. decided which would be more satisfying. See, I've, I've just started giving all my Mac stuff to family members of various Well, like this thing, it doesn't really work. Like the battery is pretty much perma-dead. Oh, uh, Like yeah, it has to be plugged in to be on. Yeah, it happens. It's, oh, okay, it's so weird thing I saw is like this MacBook Pro had some trouble like booting up because it lost too much of its battery, so it couldn't boot up even though it was plugged in. Wait, it, that'd be weird for it to boot off a of battery power even if it's plugged in. Yeah, like they lost so much battery. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but it, it no, nah, that, that can happen to any form of laptop. Like batteries just fucking die after a while. Well, yeah, they haven't. Go- just ha- they haven't. But gone, but I out. mean, like you don't like my laptop. I can just take the battery out, yeah. and, and then if it's plugged it, in, it'll yeah. boot up just fine. Yeah, which is kind of sad. I I, I wish wait, better wait, technology. I, was I think what, there. what what do you think about the fact that Guild Wars Two is on the Mac? <laughs> oh, do you I mean, find it horrendously it's, offensive? It's, and no, I mean it's no fine because the um, it's not like it's going to bring any more people into the game. I mean, I'm sure it will, but not as it, yeah, an amount. No, I mean, I've I've seen a lot of people who post. Why isn't this out on Mac? But like all those people who care enough about gaming on their Macs are going to run it through like, right. some sort of third party program camp. anyway. They're just going to go yeah, boot, boot camp, camp and do it that or way. wine or something. Yeah, it's just it's not difficult to get it running on a Mac. The, the only people you're what getting we need for this is, is for games to come to Linux and run on OpenGL instead of oh. DirectX because it's a lot more efficient. Like Valve already has um, Left 4 Dead 2, I think, running on Linux, and on the same setup that it was running at like maybe 300 FPS on DirectX, it was running at well over 400 with OpenGL. That's kind of cool, but also a very oh, like we aren't talking about. Yeah, I, I mean, like for example, like back I'm talking home, about games in general. Back home, yeah. I don't. There's no Windows. It's it's just Red Star OS, which is a Linux-based operating system. Um, have you guys heard of it? Red Star Red OS. Red Star no. OS. No, no. Is that nope. distributed by uh, Gory's leader? Yes. <laughs> um, and the and the internet. I didn't get that. High five, noob. That was subtle. Wait, I, you didn't, I didn't get that? No, didn't I didn't get that? get that. I actually literally didn't get that. That's crazy. Wow. I, wow. I apologize to everyone involved. Um. Fuck you. No, I. Get worse to coming to Mac. I shrug. That's a thing. Shrug. Yeah, that's a thing. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I hope this is a good way to like get all of the Mac users to get on their like regular Macs. And it's like these people have downloading the Mac client. Let's just ban all of them. <laughs> or I hope what happens action. is people like load the game up on their Mac and just go, "Wow, this Mac is really expensive. It doesn't have the hardware <laughs> to run this game well. Might as I well mean, buy like, a PC." Yeah. Some, some, I'll, I'll admit, like some Macs definitely could run this game. Don't be crazy, Shinboy. What they'd actually do is, <laughs> "Hey, I paid three thousand dollars for this Mac. It barely Time runs to this pay game." Four thousand dollars for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I better get an upgrade. I'm just have That's Apple exactly. siphon oh, my, my the Mac's, money out of my bank account. One of, one of the RAM sticks on my Mac got unseated. Time to buy a new Mac. Speaking of which, I keep getting memory <laughs> errors in Worldy World. Really? Uh, I Blue haven't gone to World vs. World. Or like errors time. from the game itself. Like uh, the game crashes and I'm looking at the error and it says like a memory address cannot be read. And I thought time it was that I was Mac. running out of, um, yeah, time to drop four grand on a new Mac. <laughs> no, but I thought it was because I was just running out of RAM. But like, because I checked one time and my memory usage was in like the 90% range. Oh, wow. So... I went into World of World the other day again and had nothing else running save for Mumble. So I was at like, I don't know, 50, 60% because I only have six gigs mm-hmm. and it still crashed and it was the same error. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, that, that's probably a good worst two thing. <laughs> yeah, and it's I mean, only like, in World of World. Don't you have to pay yeah. for the operating system when you buy a Mac? What? No. If you buy a Mac, it comes with it installed. No, like, like I, thought, I thought yeah. you had to pay separately. There's a separate fee why would for having you, that why, operating system. What? Why would you what? even remotely have to do that? I don't know. I don't 
Are you just just buying the hardware? No, in News World, Macs come with Windows installed, and then yeah. you have to pay a little search. Well, well, in, in my world, if I had to use a Mac, I would make a Mac and and they're called Red Star OS. They come pre-installed with Red Star OS. I, I thought I've got it's gotten more more and more difficult to make a Hackintosh. I will yeah, find a is. way. That's, I don't know. It's such a good. It's, but it's I don't understand so the good. point of making a Hackintosh. Like, it's because you get a Mac for like one thousand two hundred dollars, where you would have paid four thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, the, really, the point I of like get, I thought the point of years getting ago, a Mac, kind of Hackintosh was to run the Mac OS on it. But because Mac is useful, like for example, if you want to Except run Final Cut, all you people who say that like you need a Mac to do all this crazy editing, yeah. fuck you! All of us are doing this on Windows. The interesting <laughs> thing is, like, if if Final Cut Pro didn't need um. What is it called? iOS. Mac. Mac. iOS. Right. Mac. Oh, God. Mac. Mac OS. <laughs> iOS. iOS. Mac. Right. You need to have an iPad, and you got you to gotta, like, unlock the iPad thing to be, get the actual version of Final Cut Pro. That's the new thing. Well, the big divide is between Final Cut Pro. You have to use Apple Pro. Maps to find your key. <laughs> oh, God. Pro. Good luck finding it. You, so, you wait, reached happened? the quota of 100 Apple Map hours. Now you can how's, unlock How's Final Apple Cut Maps, Pro. by the way? Wait, how it do you sucks. have Apple Maps? What are you viewing it on? iOS 6. iOS 6. Well, you have a... I've, no, but I've just been reading everywhere that it's fucking terrible. I've seen a whole oh. bunch of screenshots of bridges that are wavy as hell. And I'm like, that doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, Wait, so well, what, like, that doesn't make... What do you mean? Is, is it still... I thought it would just look like... Google Maps, but no, no because they dropped the Google Maps. They dropped support. Google Maps support. No, but I thought it was just looked the same, but provided by TomTom. Tom. I, oh. I no, was... it is like really bad. Like there's oh, okay. like clear errors with the world. Like like the world is like morphed as if like... it's a melted <laughs> piece of plastic. <laughs> it's like pretty flat stream suddenly has like a, a 500 meter bump in it. I don't know. Oh man! And like it was saying that like certain train stations are like in the middle of rivers and stuff like that. <laughs> well, I mean, how, Wait, how so else? That's how train works. Trains work. Have, have you Google never Maps doesn't anyway? have ads on Android, right? No. Nope. So why are they? But, Wait, I, okay, it was all over the Wait. YouTube app, right? That that was the idea. Oh, I'm confused. I'm don't no no. Apple just <clears throat> doesn't get along with Google for obvious reasons, so they dropped. Oh the no Google no no. Maps the, the, I think the, the divide came around because Google wanted to serve ads on the YouTube app, and then Mac was like, "Fuck her." So you were like, "Fine, we're just." I don't know. Just I have gonna... Google Maps open right now on my Nexus, and I don't see any sort of ads. No no, no the well, YouTube Go- the YouTube app because oh, Google YouTube Maps app. is the ads are the shops that you see when you zoom in. That that's right. the ads. So yeah, um, but. In YouTube app, we do get. Let's ads, let's load up a video of the Lincoln cast. Oh God, stop it! Oh, don't God. don't listen see to that if shit. I get an ad. Oh, Never that mind. Terrible. Have you ever heard that thing? Uh, they just talk about random stuff all episode, like yeah, Max. It's Max. <laughs> have we gone to Guild Wars two yet? I think um, I think we yeah. might have mentioned yeah, Guild Wars two on a Mac. casually. Yeah, I didn't point. get an ad, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, it, it could just yeah. be. We should like, we should start using AdSense to advertise our podcast. <laughs> I have an AdSense account. <laughs> Why do you have an AdSense account? Oh, for your website. That's yeah, right. for my for my blog. Right. Hey. Yeah. What were pre-plug, plug, plug. Plug, plug. So, I think it's a bit too early for plugging. Is wait, when's, when's the Mac version coming out? Do we know? Is, is it in beta right now? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the 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 giant bomb forum. I'm pretty sure. Things. I'm pretty sure it's um in beta right now. Google Maps. I, I'm. It's, I I. <sighs> No, nah, I guess we should just move on because there's nothing more we can really say aside from sighing and so and so forth. Marks are bad. Mac. Move on to and Red people Star use OS. Max out there, I simply don't care. <laughs> I guess, like, sure, I mean, I, you're entitled to your opinion. I, I'm I think, to mind, I think any other OS other than Red Star is a bit too dangerous because you you find like adult content and dangerous ideas on the internet, and you got to filter dangerous that adult out. content, dangerous ideas just in oh, general, like free mind. speech. Um, <laughs> right. So the next the next news topic. Is, uh, wait, wait, wait. Engine Bringing Gear Wars 2 to the Mac is huge for us because it introduces the game to an entire group of players who have often ignored by game developers. The ability to play together with your friends is one of the underlying principles of Gear Wars 2. I don't 2, have any friends that a use Mac a Mac. Man. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Means that friends and guildmates can play together regardless of whatever operating system they favor. How could oh. you be a guildmate if they could not previously? God damn it. Yeah. yeah what about Linux? What's a Linux? Yeah, what about Linux? Anyway. Where's my fucking Linux saying, client? Man? 
Um, something about dungeon changes and Red Star OS. <laughs> Tell me about dungeon changes, him boy. Oh what? God, yeah, you don't know dude. what it is. So you just ask me. Okay. <laughs> Don't expect me to be a okay, legitimate so they, host. Uh, last week we were talking about speed clears and all that I'm, nonsense. I'm and the King Jong-un. Like, fuck you guys. I'm King Jong-un of this podcast. I'm no anyway, they, yeah. they did kind of say fuck you guys. Yeah, it's kinda, they, it's yeah, they were just like, hey, you guys are too good at our game, so fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> be worse. <laughs> they should have just like halved everyone's level and be like, now you can level up no, again. It was, it was pretty much just like people were speed clearing and getting ludicrous amounts of money. So mm-hmm. they reduced the rewards for... For repeating story oh, mode, yeah, right, right, right. That's for repeating the, the same yeah. path of an explorable mode, and I think if you do two uh, explorable modes in under thirty minutes each, something like that. Um, right. But they bugged them like crazy when they changed it, and they also broke a few dungeons in right. the process. So, so the, the, the general idea was that um, people would find speed clear routes to a number of the dungeons, right. and so instead of changing the dungeons themselves to make that more di- well, they did to some extent. They, they did they, that. They, they, changed, they did that. Yeah, they changed some things. To make it a little bit more difficult to speed clear, I, from my understanding, it wasn't actually too big a hit. Um, but the main thing they did was reduce the rewards of dungeons after the first time done per day. Is, is that the main? thing? Well, it was it was already that you went from getting thirty tokens to twenty, but you could. Still... I thought it was like just forever. I thought you always started getting twenty after you. No, first no, did the it reset every day when like dailies reset and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So you can so get thirty in... once per day. But now, how have you have you tried a dungeon recently to see? I mean, I've done dungeons. Um, we did honor the waves, uh, and I got thirty, but we didn't repeat it. Yeah, because there's a couple things like I have questions about. Is like a, um, what if you do multiple paths through the dungeon? Like, for example, if you try and get honor the well, waves, we things. tried to do that, but the <laughs> other path for honor the waves, the butcher path, the boss doesn't spawn, and the floor in the boss room has no collision detection, so you just fall through it. <laughs> And just keep falling. No, no, you go into the area below, which is for a different one of the explorer oh, paths. Oh, and and just but you just can't get back can't into the room without porting, and you can't finish. The and you can't game. finish it because the boss isn't there. That's which stupid. I think is because the game doesn't know where to place the boss because there's like no there's surface no there technically. Yeah, that's that's so dumb. Um, what about yeah? So we, that was okay. Go ahead. Um, do we know if if Guild Wars Two has like a drop rate system like in Guild Wars One, where drops decrease over time if you yes. do the same area over and over again? Yes, okay. it does. But it's really not that noticeable because the drops out of chests are kind of shit anyway. Right? Yeah. But no, 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 I mean, like just the out whole of, loot system weird. Kills, the just like if you're farming yes. for a specific. Item. Yeah. So if you, if you farm a specific area, uh, you'll find that the rarity and intensity. Sorry, the not the the number the amount of you, drops you get. Yeah. Reduces, I've also found that I, I have no like scientific proof behind this, but maybe it's just because I've killed more of these. But I feel like you get better drops from event mobs than you do from the mobs that are just there. Really? Hmm. That's just my personal experience. I have maybe. no idea if that's maybe. actually true. I, I always thought it would, it was like that because, especially in events where it's like large groups, it just the fact that you're killing way more people at a time and it yeah, that, like that could be it too. Drops. Uh, but but it can know. also it can also swing the other way because some events come some events just don't give you drops at no. all. Right. Like no no drops from any of the things spawned, and that's that's also a piece of like a good example is the um the one outside of the gates of Ara where you need to like protect that area. You have to mm-hmm. hold it for like eight minutes or whatever. Right. Um, in like the eight minutes, I'll get like a dozen greens and like a gold most of the time. Right. Is that a lot or a little? That's a lot, but it sounds a like dozen a lot. greens. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, and that's, that's but I mean, like I remember minutes. doing something like that in Hithrali Highlands where you're just fighting against at least maybe a hundred centaurs. Like, at at that number, it it doesn't seem amazing to get that many drops. I feel like just hundreds, right? Yeah, right. that's what I mean. It could just be like it seems You're like you're killing so many yeah. things. Hmm. But I, don't know. I mean, you you regularly don't fight mobs like that. You um, don't. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like hundreds of them at a time. You don't. Um, so, so I fight I thousands PD. of them, <laughs> and they're and they're like gold level, and they're stronger than you. And my and my dad could beat up your dad. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird because hand in hand with that announcement and those changes and the various broken things. That well, can I, can I say dungeons. something real quick? Go ahead. About that, like, I'm happy that they're trying to balance speed clears. I just think they went about it the completely fucking wrong way. Absolutely the wrong way. Absolutely yeah. the wrong way. I, they're like shouldn't... instead of instead of balancing the dungeons, they're punishing people for being too good at them. Right. Which is yeah, not fine, the way you want to balance it. 
Yeah. Yeah. At all. Like, you should just make them <laughs> And also, harder. the way I, I've I've seen, they need to, to balance the explorable modes. There should never be the quote-unquote easy way in an explorable yeah. mode. They should yeah, all be general. the same. And they uh, are not... Well... Um, because they should, be. think... they should all be roughly the same difficulty level. Yes. Otherwise, you'll have no motivation that, other than achievements. Is that even possible in, like, in a realistic sense like i mean there could always be an easier one but there should never be one like it's like obviously easy yeah yeah. oh yeah there shouldn't be like two hours two hours 20 minutes as the run times that that should never be the case um but the one i have i think think they should have an impossible boss spawn every couple of runs that kills everything and can't (laughs) that's that's a good way to balance out these speed clears like oh god the impossible thing has spawned time to restart (laughs) well we had one where we were doing a cof speaker one time and the npc got stuck in a wall and we couldn't advance Oh, oh <laughs> that's, man. They actually wanted that to happen. Is what yeah, I probably. Uh, no, but yeah, I, I just, I've, it's comes, it's weird because just last week we talked about how speed clearing is a legitimate form yeah. of end game PvE. Like, well, that, like that's yeah, it, it always it was. It, it, it always was in Guild Wars. So well, even, yeah. even yeah. if you're doing it just for the tokens, if they reduce the money amounts and you do it just for the tokens, I think that's fine. Yeah. But because that, even if you just, are speed clearing just for the tokens, it still takes a lot of runs to get the gear. Mm-hmm. But like, there's been store again. We don't really have any solid evidence because we haven't really had the chance to um, to test ourselves. But there's, there's stories out there of people getting thirty, twenty, twenty, twenty-five. Or I've seen like people getting like if they're repeating a story mode over and over, just in silver, getting like thirty, ten, six, eighteen. Wow, like it's been yeah, all it's just, over the place. It's just so six, weird. Jesus. But the the main thing with that is. Um, and the number one thing that Benny keeps talking about, and I and 100% agree, is wouldn't it be great if they just came out and said what the new algorithm was? At least let us know what the fuck you changed and what yeah. we can do to get yeah, around that's, it. That's I why mean, they never post their algorithms, do they? No. no. It's bullshit. Like, just saying, hey, we made X harder, or A, we, we made adjustments to Y, that doesn't help anyone. Like, we, It's like you... saying if they do a balance patch saying, hey, we nerfed Heartseeker, but we didn't say why. Yeah, exactly. Like, how, how they, are you so descriptive when right. it comes to your balance changes in PvP, but for PvE guys are, are just so... Like, I'm, I'm assuming crap. it's just, oh god, if they figure out this, they might find a way to exploit it. I'm assuming that's the mentality. Because yeah, but like, like, otherwise, is, why would the it be only the only way to figure out what the reduced rewards are are to speed clear a dungeon like three yeah. times? In a row. Yeah, and to to literally waste your time once, mm-hmm. y- y- which is why get... I haven't bothered. I don't care yeah. enough. Like especially with COF, I have all the gear. I got my rifle and I got my gloves, so I have all the gear that I want out of there. So I'm probably going to do the other two paths for the achievement when that time comes. And other than that, I'm done with that place. So yeah, so so they, they've now essentially removed some of the ne- desire for people to do speed clears at, at least in, in the way we like people used to do speed clears which is getting down one dungeon really well and doing that over and over again um, which i think like, is hurting pve in general because there's not as many people doing jun- dungeons in general right yeah well there's there's no longer well there i think there's still the amount of people who want to do dungeons it's just that now they don't really have a place to go there are nine dungeons in this game of which they have three plus pods so there's there's shitloads there's eight of- dungeons aren't there Eight? Okay, eight, eight dungeons. So three plus pods over eight dungeons. So you look at twenty four plus pods. How do how does your audience know which ones they want to run? How are you gonna get any congregation around any specific place if there isn't ones which people gravitate towards? Like like for example, Citadel Flame. Or well, I think it's gonna turn into, which it already is starting to turn into, is people just farming like the first boss or the first two bosses of certain runs. Yeah, like the raw farm, which we also started doing with Honor of the Waves, the broken path, the butcher path. Mm-hmm. The first two chests are back to back. Right, it's literally you kill one boss, the door opens, the and next I mean, boss is in um, that room. Essences is that? Is that two, that's two, ten tokens. Ten, ten. tokens. Yeah. So and that's... if you do it right, it's pretty much like two groups of trash, then the two bosses, and that's it. And then how, so how fast is that? Um, I don't know, ten to fifteen minutes. But when, well, I mean, this still... this isn't something new that they've done. I mean, like I remember a long time ago in Guild Wars, like especially for bosses that were really close to towns and stuff like that, they would mm-hmm. like immediate like the drop rate would go plummeting. Um, yeah, but I find it weird that they balanced it this quickly after like in the first game, the UW speed clear and Fissure Boat speed clear, which Shadow Form, they let that go for months, right? Hmm. Knowing that it fucked with the economy, something fierce. 
Right. And with this one, they're just being a, a way more defensive in their strategies. Yeah, and, it, and it's not like it's messed with the economy that much. Ectos went from like 20 silver to like 18. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the difference. And, it's, and now it's back up to 20. It wasn't to 20. That, yeah, yeah, it's like shrug. Who the fuck? They were up to 22 scared? for like a day or two, and now they're back down to 20. Yeah, it's just like, what what, do you, what have you done to anything? You've just I think it was a, a knee-jerk down. reaction. Yeah, it was very knee jerk. Uh, defensive strategies for these video games, it, I think, is negative. Always negatively affects them, as, especially for stuff like this. Nerfs aren't the way I like to see things done. As you said, they shouldn't have made. They should have nerfed them. They should have made them more they, difficult. I don't want to use the word nerf. I want to say they should have rebalanced them because they weren't yeah. like. Right. I don't know. I feel like it should have been handled way different. Mm-hmm. They just should maybe maybe they will. Maybe they'll remove the limitations. Maybe they're working on the balance, and this is what they had to put in in the meantime. We don't know. Yeah, and that's 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 what I'm hoping has happened. Because again, yeah, that, back to my segue. So Colin Johansson, um, game director for Guild Wars Two, uh, kind of responded to a lot of, a lot of people who um, talked about well, have been posting about the dungeons and explore mode dungeons for quite a while now. Um, generally complaining about their difficulty and stuff like that. Who wants to read this out? Because I I read out the last one. I'm going to post. Oh, the I don't link have the post open. open. Yeah. I'm posting the sure. link now. So, uh, sh- Nubarama. Okay. It's actually a pretty long post, but I think it's a really good post. So if you can read oh it. Oh god, that is a wall of text. Do it's not any- nerf please loading Guild Wars <laughs> 2 forum um white screen. All right, here we go. Colin Johansson, game director, this cool little red thing 6 yep. days ago, Arena Net quote. What I would call hard was trying to run Domain of Anguish and Malix with a balanced setup in the first weeks it was released. Many people called it impossible, but it was a heck of Heck, Heck of a lot, lot of fun to do. Yeah. Why? Because it offered variety and fluid gameplay, quick and deadly like it should be. Not kiting a mob for two minutes and then walking into the next bob, mob, rinse and repeat. I'll point out, ironically, when we first turned on DOA back in Guild Wars 1, the post you've been seeing on this forum from a few folks about difficulty were the exact same comments <laughs> everyone had about DOA. It was impossible. Mobs just turned to do insane damage and have HP have huge HP, there was no tactics to defeat DOA, etc. I went back and read through the original DOA launch feedback, and it was literally identical to the (laughs) comments folks on the forums are leaving now. Wow. (laughs) We made the choice back then to stick with the difficulty and give people time to learn how to play the dungeon better and overcome it. A few months later, people viewed it as the most fun thing in the game and totally reasonable without us changing anything. (laughs) <laughs> we'll be doing the same for the Guild Wars 2 Explorable Dungeons. Our own internal testing teams and alpha test groups learn to beat them using a combination of player skill. Oh my god, my Guild Wars 2 launched. Uh, all Synchronous tabbing. builds, strong uh, use of cross vision combos, use of cooking consumable buffs. These made a huge difference. And well informed player tactics. Uh, by comparison, after having months of play time and time for our alpha... Sorry. Months of time to play and our alpha was complete, some of our better dungeon groups felt the explorable dungeons were too easy for launch. We decided not to make them any harder given the expected player skill on launch. Uh, you can start in the next paragraph, I guess. Launch. We're actively monitoring every dungeon and working on balancing issues we encounter appropriately. We'll be keeping an eye on bosses we don't think have enough varied mechanics to warrant their large health pools, and updating them over time to make them more varied slash interesting fights. We'll be monitoring and continually tweaking and adding dungeon rewards over time, and of course balancing where we see the need. And of course we'll be adding more dungeons as well! Exclamation mark. All that said, the game is very new for most of our players, and I can absolutely promise with more knowledge of the game and advanced player skill, the explorable dungeons can all be overcome by skilled groups. We've, been, we've seen many groups just do it fine in our internal test, alpha test once they had time to learn how to play the game well. Just like Domain of Anguish in Guild Wars 1, it takes time and practice to learn how to overcome stuff as hard as our explorable mode dungeons, and that's exactly the kind of players they are designed for. If DOA was any indication, a couple of months from now many of you will likely be posting saying most of the dungeons are too easy and you need to find better challenges um too long <laughs> didn't so read to learn to play faggots that's what, exactly <laughs> that, what he said that is so accurate oh my god but also I mean, to a certain accurate. extent he's right yeah. i mean to to a certain extent he's right and to a certain extent he's not He's absolutely wrong in some cases. Like in some cases, dungeons are just broken. Like, the like he, final he honestly knows nothing missing. about the game. Who does he think he is? <laughs> but Who does in a lot of cases, he is? like for example, why does 
um, the Ascalon Catacombs Explorer mode take four hours to complete in your first time through with a new with a fresh group, compared to Honor of the Waves, it takes like one and a half to two hours maximum first time through Explorer well, mode. To be fair, we were all level eighty when we did yeah. Honor of the Waves, and we were all like, like level fifty when we did EC. Well, we never got stuck in Honor of the Waves. Like the the protection room in Vertical is for all of the Ascalon Catacombs. But I mean, the thing is, like, you've learned a bunch of mechanics from dungeons, and that's helped you along in later dungeons there was no equivalent challenge that's that's what i'm kind of po- pointing out in mm. honor of the waves it's just boss 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 um but in Aslan catacombs there is boss which was difficult but overcomable a protection room so it's a secondary challenge that was very different to anything else we've done in the past and all three paths have an entirely different second room even though they're both protection missions so they're all protection missions and then there's another objective um, invariably in all three of them are different but that's an entirely different objective that doesn't involve killing a single boss and moving forward and then finally the final boss like it, it was multiple different objectives all a, of diffi- different difficulties but the thing is now most people that I know they're doing AC are doing it really quick yeah but you have to figure it there's a, there's no figure it out moment with the other um, explorer modes I've done there's no like different objective that you have to learn and get down and, and optimize for there's just killing mobs you know, well, like with dungeons. COF in the speed clear, there was that, that room with all the bombs where you need to find the bombs and bring them back to the NPC. Okay. so, it's, but, so it's, And you have a two-minute time limit on doing that. But the thing is, once you learn where those bombs are, it's super easy. It doesn't change? No, the locations are static. But see, for for example, I, I, I'm, I'm going to ruin this for some people out there, but I'll only ruin one of the three pods. Um, for And the easiest one of that. For Ghost Eater, there is a section where... You have to have multiple people split across um, trap controls, and there's a huge horde of enemies that storms your NPC and tries to take it down, um, the, the, the one you're protecting. And if she dies, it, the, everything resets. So the entire oh thing God, is, is it about... like that fucking... What's his face? In Athlon Catacombs. That's, one, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Ghost Eater run in oh. Athlon Catacombs. Um, this one's easy, though. Yeah, this is, well, it's not easy the first time you do it. You have to learn it. Because oh, if you don't do yeah. the traps right and you don't have people managing the mobs and you don't have... Well, you know um, the easiest way to do it... Which one is which get, one's yours? You get four people on the traps. Yep. And you just have... If you have a heavy armor, you just have him stand in the traps and just run around. Yeah, that's exactly right. That That's the way to beat that. But you have to figure that out. If you didn't figure it out, then it takes you a long time to figure that out. Because you, you'd think that he'd die instantly. But if he does it just right... Or if he's just really fucking tanky, a level 80 tank. Well, or if you pay attention, a lot of the really, really small ones don't attack. They're yeah. just there to cause panic. That's interesting. Which and admittedly that's cool. does work. Yeah, totally works. And, and also, like, the only ones you really have to work, watch out for are the ones that knock you down. Like, and everything else kind of. Uh, yeah, and the breeder. So, well, the, br- like, the breeder is part of the objective. So that's why I didn't, I didn't mind ruining this one, because kind of the easiest of the three, by far. Like, he, he as long as it takes you that moment to figure how to take down that part of the dungeon and once you do it you're fine but there's no equivalency of that to the other dungeons like there's no secondary objective that really has a trick to it that you have to find and you have to work hard to to attain um at all like they just all they're all just mob stomps from what i've seen right that's kind of sad well like cm there's one hallway in the the butler path where there's a whole bunch of rocket turrets Mm -hmm. and you need to pick up like the special weapon before the hallway and you need to time the rockets coming at you to blast them back at the turrets, and that's, that's kind of cool. Through the hallway, that was really cool. The rest that's of the dungeon cool. was fucking broken as shit, and I'm never going back. There. <laughs> Revan and I have a blood pact to never ever step foot into CM Explorable ever again. <laughs> but that sounds cool, and that's the kind of stuff I want to see in these dungeons. See, that's the kind of stuff that's awesome. The rest of that dungeon, where there's two groups of like forty things each, and as soon as you walk into the room, you aggro them, and the only way to get past there that we found anyway was to get them to reset when we ran past them. Oh man, that's sad. And that's also, the kind of shit that, like, when Colin said, like, you need to learn to pretty much learn to play better. I'm like, no, this is no, bullshit. This is broken bullshit. Like, for example, Man, um, in you Honor think the Waves, it's broken, but that's because you're bad. You need to learn. To <laughs> in Honor of the Waves dungeon, there is a I before they fixed the it. It's it's probably my they've changed so it far. apparently from what me and Shinboy talked about before the episode started. But um, there was a boss which stood stood in a stairwell in one of the three pods. And um, there's like a huge hallway and the stairwell at the, the end of the hallway, like one of those big elaborate um, staircases. And he's standing in the middle of it. And so as you walk in, he spawns a bunch of, like a bunch of ads spawn all the well, way they're around. Not, they're already there. Uh, for us, they, they kind of spawned. They, they, oh, no, they were already there. They were already there. They're already there. You walk in and you kill them. Then you can damage him. But what happened when we played it was then immediately, like everything was like on a less than 45 second timer. The ads came back. 
and they're pretty. Di- they're all silvers. Like they, they weren't simple. They weren't tra- They weren't uh, um, bronzes or anything. They were pretty hard to kill. And all of them would respawn and then rush your team again. So and during that, he had a huge damage reduction on him. That you, so you had to kind of kill the trash before you could kill him again. The thing is, after because they all have AOE, they just wore us down. Like we, the first time we did it, we got him down to about ninety percent health. So he did ten percent of his health and damage. But then we all just got worn down and killed. Um, eventually, we had to do part things where we had to have two people go up the stairs behind him and go up to the top, where it's difficult for him to spawn any ads and DPFs him from the top and keep him in combat while three people stay on the ground and run up and down the stairs to um, give the AI a hard time to keep up with you. To, to try and manage those mobs and slowly DPS them down that way. Like that, that's the only way we had to do it. And it took us around 30 to 40 minutes just to take down the one. No, it was like 20 to 30 minutes to take down that one boss. That was, if we didn't cheese it by having two people at top who could just DPS him without any like uh, negatives, then we wouldn't have been able to beat him. Like, it, was, it was just... See, like I've done that, that that run a good amount of times and he has never spawned any That ads. again. Yeah, it's, 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 it's as if so they just it was bugged it. for you or yeah. it was bugged for me every time or they changed it. They changed it. I think it's most likely because we were man. the first people yeah, in that guild to do just, that one. You guys just don't sound like the high level players um, that are highly <laughs> Actually, organized like, or even, I mean, I wouldn't that, call that him that difficult, that boss, but he mm. hits pretty damn hard either way. He hits real hard. Um, so when so we like, did he, it with he's him still a challenge. Hard, and all those mobs, it was. It, I would. I would have called it broken. People were just pissed off. Like I wasn't particularly pissed because I'm used to AC and that kind of stuff. But he was. He was annoyingly. <laughs> there, there was a few times in one of the, the other runs where I was just like, "Nope, I don't feel like doing this anymore." <laughs> in, yeah. um I forgot what path. But but that boss we tried cheesing. Um, the underwater boss. Uh, which path was it? Not the butcher, because that's the one that's currently broken. The zealot, I think. Uh yeah, um, the one with you the can pull him out of the map. Oh really? What? One of Out one of the of bosses the in there. You can wait. Did you, you do go, this with Thurbleton? Uh, yes. Yeah. Could, did he tell you show you that hole in the wall in the bottom right hand corner? If you go all the way to the the far right, yeah, and you yeah. go up, yeah, you can actually pull him out. The, that's dumb. But the thing is, it's actually easier if you fight him where you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> well, this this thing because what he does is uh, I get I don't want to spoil these dungeons for people, but this he's a, just one boss in a dungeon that was otherwise interesting if not uneventful um that, that actually that run was tough but it wasn't like that was that was the a kind, good that, that was, was the kind of run mind. that i can see conjure hansen saying like you guys have to like you know pick up your yeah. game here yeah that was that was balanced that was well balanced like one of the waves until they broke it was probably the best balanced dungeon i've done the only thing missing it's from the story mode the story mode boss is is uh oh he was he was balanced just jump in the water hunter and his pet I figured it out first time through. He, oh no, you, you're the one who messaged really, me. Really tough. Yeah, he's really, really tough. Yeah, if you don't figure that out, if he's, you don't figure out his trick, that'd be a good explorable mode final boss. That's not a yeah. good story mode final boss. Yeah, because story modes are kind of expected to be a bit easier, like significantly yeah. easier, I should say, than explorable modes. But either way, like um, the only thing, only problem with one of the ways before was the lack of interesting secondary objective. It was just all like AI stomp all the way through, and but it was yeah. a good level of difficulty at least. So yeah. Yeah, in that case, Colin Johansson's right, but that can so some of the dungeons being much easier than others, and some of them just being broken at the moment, like not not like I'm talking about missing floor broken, like actually legitimately cannot finish them. Yeah, and Me, also we tried to do the Mursat path in Ara, and the first boss didn't trigger. There's a what path? Wait, oh you god, spoilers! Me. Stop, spoilers! Stop. Stop! I didn't know that. Fuck it's it's Fuck a per, it's it tells you when you walk in. Ah, uh, fuck you. Fuck Still, you. that is Fuck that's you. interesting to know. I, w- I don't want to see them. I want to see okay. the new. I'm gonna. Version. I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but I'm saying there's four paths in a raw, and they all have to do with a, a pretty significant race to the lore. They they are oh, no. They that's are. Cool. I mean, they're pretty unseen, aren't they? Shut, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. You. Wait. So how, yeah, how does it explain that? <laughs> Wait. How does it explain? Um, you're basically doing research on them. Oh. Okay. Well, it is 250 do, years do they in the do, future. Oh so. God. Do they have spectral agony? I don't know because the first boss bugged. Do, do oh. I need infused armor? <laughs> Although oh, I will say, oh, if you God. are a fan of the Guild Wars lore, the NPC that you talk to when you first walk in that place, who's in the first cutscene, pretty awesome. That's really? pretty cool. Again, oh, th- man. this has made me want to run a raw, but from what I've heard, my See, like broken. most of most of the explorable modes, I'm like, and eh, with the story, but all the raw ones, I actually want to pay attention. The problem, yeah. I don't know. Like, if I remember, Spectral Agony was the most fucked thing ever. 
Sojourn Agony was awesome when you first come up against it because you just had you had no way of dealing with it whatsoever. Like, oh, what's the special out? Oh my god! What the fuck? What's this thing they just put on me? Oh god, I'm dead! (laughs) (laughs) So good, so good. And that's like what you want me to infuse every piece of armor I have, especially if you're doing the Warring Fighter shit. Oh god, fuck that! So hilarious, so hilarious. Anyway. Um, I guess that's it for news. The is it? Dungeons are undergoing some changes. Of shrug. Yeah, and... like I am the head dungeoneer, and I haven't been spending that much time in dungeons just because their current state is not good. Yeah, it's, it's uh, the the rewards need to continue to be tweaked. Mm. And no, the re- yeah. the rewards, if you do a full run, like an hour and a half, let's say, if you have a kind of eh team for thirty tokens, is is fine. Yeah. That's 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 pretty yeah. cool. Like, well, doing dungeons the first time through is my interest in dungeons, and that's where it ends. And I think I said it last week. Um, speed speed clears aren't my thing, but speed clears I think we all recognize is as we said last week a definite way of playing Guild Wars two. That I they think it's weird that they're trying to like stomp them out. It's yeah, it's kind of not it's only- like sudden like like one eighty for them in terms of uh, their their stance towards them. Yeah. That like what happened to playing the way you want to play. Like, it's, like they the didn't get stomped out in the first game until the Ecto Farming completely raped the economy. Mm. There you go. And with that... Like, um, like how you rape the fun? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. rest, rest yeah. back yeah. the, the control wait, wait. of the show from New I have, I have a question. I have a question. Go ahead. You think, you think there's going to be holiday events soon? Of course. Yeah. Holi- they've, they've already like, announced they're going to be holiday events. Oh. like No, I mean like um, Christmas? the Halloween thing. Halloween. Ooh, Halloween. It might be a bit early. King that's Returns. That's like that might be a bit though. early. Might be a bit early. I, I, I expect Halloween? them to be ready by Christmas. When Gilbert yes, they did have. One came out, like on the first year? Um, yes, I believe so, because it launched in the spring. Right. Okay. So they had plenty of time. They have mm. April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> launch the game on April Fool's and launch it broken. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So oh, okay. Here's that, some breaking um, update news. Go ahead. I have some update ahead. notes. Okay. I need so to finish this episode out. <laughs> for, for September 18th, 2012. Here are the patch notes for today's game update. General, fixed female voiceover lines that we're not playing during some story cinematic sequences. Thank Christ. (laughs) Fixed an issue where NPCs would stop moving and result in some events from being blocked. Fixed issue in Kakedus' manner. Fixed issues in other dungeon that Shinboy was complaining about. Well, they, def- they definitely did a bunch of dungeon fixes. Oh, in also, the 18th, but... before I, we started recording this, I logged into Guild Wars 2, went to LA, and all the NPCs were moved. It's weird. <laughs> really? They were? Like, all you know the like merchant? slightly moved. You know the merchant in, um, at the bottom of the stairs in front of the bank? Yeah. Standing right in the middle of the fucking stairs. What the Yeah, hell? There's, there's like nudged a couple of the NPCs over. Was it, Everyone was just it like, accident? what the fuck? <laughs> it was weird. But you know what? That reminds me of the, um, the Stasi tactics of interrogation methods where they would where they would go the takfuji the takfuji where they would send in a million troops and it was just oh, really it. extreme <laughs> all right and with no, that um, it's like they'd like move furniture while people weren't in the house and then like send their wives a vibrator or something i don't know and this is the a short episode of link cast because we wanted to do a full like state of the game episode Never but not mind, in, I'll find pretty much everyone couldn't make it like so you. And we're all tired. I'm tired, at least. I'm not tired. Guys. I'm, I'm yeah. full tired. I've had a long week. So, with that, um, one, hour, one hour episode, special... Wait. Someone like you. Wait, do you have anything else, Jim Boy? We didn't get to talk about... Oh, wait, never mind. I'll talk about the next week. I didn't say anything. <laughs> um, thanks for listening to the Linky Cast. Uh, sorry we didn't oh, do more like this week. Like us on week, Facebook. But... Like us on Facebook. More Facebook likes. Uh, yeah. Also, you I can... mentioned last oh, week the... Um, the, my dun- the second part of my dungeon, like a post series with all the dungeon shit that happened, I had to go back and tweak that, so it's not done yet. <laughs> Yay! So sometimes yeah, check out those in the future. Long. Also, the Japan PC Gaming Hub. Hurts. If you want to see new, it's what you do, you actually log into Japan PC Gaming Hub server anymore? Uh yeah, I do. I was on it hey. a couple minutes ago. Sometimes cool. it lasts in love. But it hurts sometimes. So we have noobs sing us out. Yeah, so noob, noobs sing us out. Um, also, you Never can contact us uh, at the Linky Cast on Twitter. Like TheLinkyCast at gmail.com. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just have it gradually get louder. <laughs> you do. I can do that in post. Yeah, I can do that in post. Don't forget me. Um, <laughs> also, you can post in the forums <laughs> where we, we uh, put up you our shows. I'll try to get them up probably Tuesday or so. Goodbye. Never mind. Sing us out. Never mind. I'll find someone.
like you. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's good enough. Uh.